Hi, I'm Nick from Kometa Camera, and today we're going to talk about cleaning your camera's image sensor. Now, sensor cleaning is a very delicate process, and you can cause permanent damage to your camera if you're not careful. The manufacturer doesn't recommend it, and you'll probably void your warranty. On the other hand, it's actually pretty straightforward, and if you use the right tools, it's 100% safe. So, let's get started. First, you want to take a test image to see exactly how dirty your camera's sensor is. Start by setting your camera to aperture priority mode and set the aperture to the smallest available setting, f22 for example. Then use a blank white sheet of paper or a blank white document on your computer screen and take a picture and move the camera around during the exposure to make sure it's a little bit blurry. Fill the entire viewfinder and take your shot. Then transfer this photo to your computer and use Photoshop or another image editing program to look at it. You should be able to see dark gray blobs wherever the dust is on your image sensor. If you're using Photoshop, you can use auto levels to see it much more clearly. As you can see here, our D300 is filthy. The first step to getting your sensor clean is to remove any loose dust. You can start by using your camera's automatic sensor cleaning feature which shakes the optical low-pass filter in front of the sensor to remove the dust. Most cameras have this feature nowadays. Just find it in the menu and run the feature a few times. Then take another test image. If it helped, then you're done. If it didn't, it's time to move on to the next step. The next step is to open your camera up and get to the image sensor. Now, if you happen to have a mirrorless camera, then you can skip this step. But most standard DSLRs have a mirror inside that directs light up to the viewfinder. We're going to have to lock that mirror up so that we can get to the sensor. First, make sure that your camera's battery is fully charged. Some cameras won't even let you get to this feature without a fully charged battery. Enter your camera's menu and find a feature called Mirror Lockup or something similar. Once the mirror is locked up, then you can remove your lens. You'll see the image sensor here at the back of the sensor chamber. And once that's exposed, then we can start cleaning it out with air. I recommend using a manual air blower like this or some other form of clean compressed air. I wouldn't recommend using canned air like this product because these types of products contain propellants that can sometimes leak out and can damage your image sensor. So we won't be using that. Hold your camera upside down so that the image sensor faces the ground and that any dust that escapes is going to fall down instead of entering the sensor chamber. Use your air blower or other air and just start cleaning it out. Make sure you don't make any contact with the sensor itself. And once you're satisfied that you've eliminated as much dust as possible, reattach your lens, turn off your camera to reset the mirror, turn it back on and take another test shot. As you can see, our image sensor still looks a little bit dusty, so it's time to move on to the next step, wet sensor cleaning. Again, lock up the mirror so that your image sensor is accessible. Remove your lens and put your camera on a very sturdy, dust-free work surface. To clean our sensor, we're going to be using a Visible Dust Easy Sensor Cleaning Kit, which is available on Kometa.com. It comes with four V-swabs, which are individually wrapped and are lint-free and 100% safe for your image sensor. It also comes with a small vial of cleaning solution, which is also 100% safe. All you need to do is apply a small amount of solution to the corners of the swab so that it's saturated but not dripping wet. Aim very, very, very carefully put the swab inside your sensor chamber, press it against one edge of the image sensor, and drag it along gently but firmly all the way to the edge. Pull it out, turn it 180 degrees, use the clean side and in the same direction, wipe the image sensor, pull it out, and dispose of that swab. We can never use that again. Reattach your lens. Turn your camera off to reset the mirror, turn it back on, and take another test shot. As you can see, the V-swabs did the job. The image sensor is nice and clean, and we're ready to shoot. 
Now there's lots of other products on the market that are pretty similar to this, and so any lessons that you learned here can be applied to those products as well. And that's about all there is to it. Image sensor cleaning doesn't have to be intimidating, and you too can clean your sensor just like the pros.